Starship's second orbital test flight ended many days ago, but interesting stories about it still continue. It'll still be analyzed and discussed months, even years later. Perhaps one of the outstanding successes of this flight was the scene of 33 engines activating simultaneously after liftoff a feat that no previous vehicle has accomplished. But there's something else. The 33 Raptor engines not only produced amazing thrust, they also made something else very impressive. It's the huge shock diamonds. This is a special wonder that no other rocket or plane has ever done. And, Elon Musk just revealed an all-new SpaceX rocket engine, LEAT-1337. Extreme concepts like eliminating the entire hot fuel gas manifold and combining the fuel pump and main chamber injector are being considered by Elon Musk and SpaceX. The SpaceX Raptor engines now operate at a very high level, but LEAT-1337 will have an even higher chamber pressure, allowing for greater thrust. It's possible that SpaceX will be able to produce them at 10 times the current rate. So how did the last Starship flight manage this miracle? And what can we recognize from that moment? Amazing, right? And so, let's all find out all the details in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S After the first orbital test flight, SpaceX had to deal with many problems. One of the biggest and most obvious during that flight was the problem with the Raptor engines in the Super Heavy booster. Specifically, some engines did not operate after Starship lifted off. Visually the fact that some engines do not light up like the rest makes the flight much less impressive. On the technical side, problems with the engine have affected flight performance by a lot. One of the key improvements that SpaceX made to its Starship prototype over the past seven months was upgrading its engine. The engine is crucial for the performance and safety of the spacecraft, which underwent more than a thousand modifications since the last flight. What are some of the changes that SpaceX made to its engine and why are they important? The answer was clearly shown during the second Starship's orbital test flight. 33 Raptor engines and Super Heavy Booster worked well. Even perfectly from after liftoff until before the separation phase. Thanks to that stability, the flight achieved new successes, especially since the flight time was longer and reached a higher altitude than the previous flight. The moment of 33 engines working at the same time in the first minutes became one of the most impressive images of the flight and has been continuously posted on many social networking platforms. Aside from that feat, Starship's Raptor engines also created another extremely impressive moment, the shock diamond phenomenon. Those impressive images were posted by SpaceX after the flight captured in slow motion. Perhaps you didn't catch it during the flight because we weren't really paying attention as much. This was a unique feat. Let's take a look. The 33 engines combined to create a series of big shock diamonds, a moment that no rocket or aircraft has ever been able to achieve before. So what are shock diamonds and how do they come about? Well, they're also known as mock diamonds or a formation of standing wave patterns that appear in the supersonic exhaust plume of an aerospace propulsion system like a supersonic jet engine, rocket and more when it is operated in an atmosphere. The diamonds are actually a complex flow field made visible by abrupt changes in local density and pressure as the exhaust passes through a series of standing shock waves and expansion fans. This is how it happens. First, when the engine activates, it will release a source of energy to help the rocket fly up. The energy stream will create a supersonic exhaust flow. The exhaust gas is slightly overexpanded causing its pressure to be lower than the surrounding air pressure. During flights as these exhaust gases flow out of the nozzle, the high pressure of the surrounding air compresses them. Those external compressive forces caused by the shock wave will create an oblique angle with the flow. The compressed flow is alternatively expanded by Prenelmeyer expansion fans. And each diamond is formed by the pairing of an oblique shock with an expansion fan. When the compressed flow becomes parallel to the center line, a shock wave perpendicular to the flow forms called a normal shock wave. This will determine where the first shock diamond will be located from the engine nozzle. The distance between them is called the zone of silence. This distance is calculated by the formula 0.67 multiplied by the nozzle diameter and then multiplied by the square root of the flow pressure divided by atmospheric pressure. As the exhaust gas passes through the normal shock wave, the temperature of the gas stream increases, burning excess fuel and creating the prominent diamond-shaped light we saw. Eventually, the flow will expand again so that its pressure is lower than the surrounding air pressure. 
At that time, the expansion fan reflects from the contact discontinuity or the outer edge of the flow. The reflected waves or compression fan, if the compression fan is strong enough, another oblique shock wave will form, creating a second shock diamond. This means the same thing will keep happening over and over again as long as the air is perfect and nothing slows it down. Typically, this phenomenon will appear more in high-performance jets or supersonic aircraft because they move at extremely fast speeds, creating supersonic airflow at low pressure. However, during that last flight where Starship created this phenomenon, its shock diamond was the largest ever seen. Super heavy booster with 33 engines divided into three rings, including 20 fixed outer engines, 10 gimbal middle engines and 3 gimbal inner engines, all of them create a huge thrust. Of up to 7,590 tons or 16.7 million pounds. Thanks to that thrust, the Starship S25 and B9 pair reached a maximum speed of 5,664 km per hour before separating. According to the principle of shock diamond formation, each engine will create its own small shock diamond effect. However, the 33 engines on the Super Heavy Booster all work together, creating a single powerful energy flow. Basically, 33 individual engines combine to create a powerful force as if it's just one big engine, and that created a huge supersonic exhaust flow at low pressure. That is when the shock diamond formation principle takes place and creates a series of big, clear, and beautiful diamond-shaped effects that we see here. This impressive moment once again emphasizes the formidable power of the Raptor engine. The Raptor 2 engine developed by SpaceX has achieved remarkable feats in the field of rocket propulsion. It can produce an impressive 230 tons or 510,000 pounds of thrust, making it one of the most powerful engines in operation in the world. A new thrust record was also set and made by the Raptor engine's third iteration, or V3. 350 bar chamber pressure, or 269 tons of force, was reportedly attained by the Raptor 3. SpaceX creator Elon Musk said on Twitter, Congrats to the SpaceX propulsion team on May 13, Starship's Super Heavy Booster is 33 Raptor, so total thrust of 8,877 tons, or 19.5 million pounds, he declared. The most powerful rocket in history is going to be Starship. Does the Raptor V3 look different or similar to the V2? Pose the question on Twitter by a journalist. We can locally protect the rest and delete engine heat shields if we can delete and integrate enough secondary structure. The small fiddly bits must grow in response. The engine would be lighter and easier to produce in large quantities if some parts were removed, which would also make the engine more compact than in earlier iterations. In order to understand the enhanced power of the Raptor V3, let's compare it to the Saturn V rocket, which produced 7.6 million pounds of thrust and launched NASA humans to the moon. But since Saturn V is no longer in use, NASA created the Space Launch System, a new rocket with a maximum thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. When it took off in November 2022, the fully operational rocket, according to NASA, exerted more power than any rocket ever. SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy, which can produce 19.5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, just over through the SLS, as soon as it enters orbit. After improvement on the initial test flight in April, SpaceX carried out a second Starship test flight this past weekend, albeit it was unable to enter orbit. On Saturday morning, November 18, the test was conducted from Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. The second flight made significant advancements over the first test conducted in April, which exploded before the stage separation and traveled around 39 kilometers in altitude. The second test saw the successful ignition of all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy first stage, the survival of the Starship's second stage after separation and the height of about 150 kilometers during flight. Almost 200 Raptor engines and counting have been produced by SpaceX as of November 2022, with an average of one engine being produced each day. Within the McGregor factory, the business produces and tests the engines. According to statements made by SpaceX personnel, the company now possesses more engines than it can use for flight. Since each Raptor 3 can produce 260 tons of thrust, SpaceX hopes to keep the cost per ton of thrust of each vehicle around $1,000. This works out to just over $250,000. The development of Starship is expected to cost roughly $2 billion this year, according to recent statements made by Musk.
with its headquarters located in Hawthorne, California, SpaceX has great ambitions of sending people to Mars via Starship. Moreover, it has set a new record for the highest chamber pressure ever reached by a rocket engine at 300 bar. This surpasses the previous record of 268.9 bar held by its predecessor, the Raptor I, which itself had broken the long-standing record of 256.6 bar held by the Russian RD-180. The Raptor II engine is a relatively new invention, having started production at the end of 2021 and flown only twice so far, yet it has already established its position as a leader in the aerospace industry. The recent flight also set a record as the official flight with the most engines operating at the same time, up to 33. It surpassed even the N1 rocket's record of 30 engines. Thanks to that, it can create impressive images with the following shock diamonds in flight, something that no other rocket has ever achieved. In the future, when Raptor 3 launches, new records will continue to be created. In a test in May, it achieved a thrust of up to 269 tons or 590,000 pounds and a chamber pressure of 350 bar. If that engine version is used, it'll probably do even better and make a more impressive moment than what Raptor 2 had provided. It can then be said that SpaceX has never stopped surprising us with the miracles that they perform. Their steps are not only fast and strong, but they also know how to create an unforgettable impression. The unique sighting of the shock diamond phenomenon in the recent flight is a typical example of this, but perhaps in the future, as SpaceX keeps repeating this over and over and over. Again, we'll get pretty bored. Like every other component, strides for SpaceX in general and the Raptor engine in particular are happening fast and with a lot of momentum. But Musk and SpaceX's engineers will not stop there. They will continue to create other engines that are powerful and impressive enough to blow every limit we can think of out of the water. With those engines, SpaceX will continue to achieve other milestones in the aerospace industry. The closest target in the coming time will be orbit and then the moon, Mars, and beyond. But before getting to those milestones, let's continue to enjoy the feats that Starship has done in its recent flight, including the Shock Diamond. It symbolizes the strength and continuous development of the most current aerospace company in the world. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.